What's up, everybody? We're back, Green Valley Ranch, once again, checking out their 50 cent minimum roulette wheel. Let's see what uh, hits for the first number right here. And we got a 24, so we're gonna be going in for a session today. Um, I had a bunch of scraps on me, 1790. I put in some bubble sessions this morning with myself and with Wayne, and unfortunately, the bubble uh, machines just aren't going our way. So uh, we're still we can get done playing roulette. And I think I'm gonna go after my 17. If I take a look up here, it's 3X right there. I usually um, don't do it because of that reason, but you know what? I'm gonna use it as an excuse to play it. So let's do it. Let's go, actually, you know what? Let's go for 1720 and we'll gas it up right away. So we're in for 1790. We've got a $3 bet out there. We're looking for the 1720. Let's see if it can smash. I don't see the 20 up top there on the hot list. We'll take a look in a second. Hopefully we can get something going here. Let's see. Looking for 1720 right off the rip, right off the rip. It's gonna be too far. Can we get, oh, look at that middle dozen, of course. You guys, I must just be the worst, uh, I'm the most unluckiest person when it comes to the double dozens. Lately, I just can't hit in the past three sessions. I don't think I can, I think out of 20 spins, I maybe hit three of my double dozens. All right, 1490, we do have a red right there. We're gonna stick with what we're doing here. Let's see if we can make it happen. Hopefully it's not a short session. Hopefully this transpires into something positive here. It would be a nice hit right there off the rip. This would put us up to roughly $30. Let's see if we can get the love. We got a slow spin. Looking for that 17.20. Come on, one time. We're gonna need a big bounce and we get a three. So that is a hedge hit at least. We are gonna get our opportunity back if it ever pays us. It looks like there was a huge delay there with the screen. Don't know why. All right, so we got a back-to-back -back red as an observation. Let's go ahead and look at that 20 and see where it is. All right, we got 1X on the 20, 3X on the 17. If you guys want to take a look at the stats, I'll leave that up there. Unfortunately, that ball change needed thing is not going to leave. Wish I could move it away, but oh, there we go. All right, there you go. Take a pause if you want. And I did try yesterday to just show the betting limits, so I think I'm going to do that again. Oh, I just missed the spin. All right, good time to show the betting limits, right? So, let's see what happens here. Where is the betting limits? All right, let's see what happens. Hopefully it's not a 1720, or otherwise I'm gonna be disgusted. All right, look at that, guys. That was meant to be. We got a 19, so looks like we got a favorable miss. Or actually, what am I doing here? I think the maximum show bet limits. There we go. My apologies, you guys. I'm struggling this morning. It is early in the morning. As you can see, I can't even hit that. All right, so these are the betting limits right here in case you guys wanted to see. Well, let's clear that down. Let's repeat our bet. We're gonna go with the same setup we did before. Let me put those betting limits back on so you guys can see them. Take a pause if you need to. That's what the betting limits look like here at Green Valley Ranch and most interblock machines from what I understand. So let's see if we can get that 1720 to smack. We just had a 19. Unfortunately for us, we weren't involved in it. 1720. 1720 is all we want to see. That's too far. That's a two. All right, right next to the zeros. And actually, that is a good sign. Look at this, guys. I just noticed, if you see, we don't have any zeros up there. So we're going to switch from the 1720 to targeting the zeros. I often say when we get a 1, 2, 27, 28, the zeros tend to hit shortly thereafter. Wow, we are completely off. I'm glad I noticed that. So we're gonna go in with a little extra juice. We're gonna go one, one, and one, three dollars of that. Same setup, just moved over to the zeros instead of the 1720. So the middle dozen is completely exposed. Looking for the green monsters to come through for us. Send me your love, your vibes, let's make it happen. Will the green show up when we need it to? Hopefully my instincts, uh, the trigger comes true for us here. Zero, double zero, any green is what we're looking for. Zero, double zero. Oh, that little chance. Eight, that is a hedge. We're okay with that. Didn't hit a 1720, so no regret in that department. And we do like the hedges for that reason. It gives us more opportunities. If we hit them more often than not, the only time they're a detriment is if you get whacked in the dozen you're not playing, which would be our middle dozen right now. So we're gonna repeat that. And I think that's everything I wanted to show everybody. The betting limits, I think that was everything, so. But yeah, it is a uh, 50 cent minimum here. I don't know if I said dollar in the beginning of the intro. I think I said 50 cents, but if not, 50 cent minimum. Zero, double zero is what we're looking for. Green, any 
Jean Green, Green Monsters, Frankenstein, Martians, whatever you call them. Let's hit one. Let's hit one. Oh, that was so close, you guys. I thought I was going to slam in the zeros, but we get a 10. Another headshot. So we're okay with that. And um, it is, I like to put out there, I usually stick with what I start with in terms of bets, but when I notice something like the greens with a trigger, they've been gone this long, there's too many conditions for me to ignore, especially on a shorter bankroll, um, given that our opportunities are kind of condensed into a small um, bankroll that we have to work with, I do want to um, go with what my intuition or my inkling tells me to play. And it was the 1720 at first, but the zeros have taken over. Let's see if they can hit. Zero, double zero, green monsters. Whoa, squirrely bounce. All right, look at that, first dozen. Almost in the 17 or the 20, but fortunately, it was not. So we get another headshot, and those headshots are coming through for us. We don't want to speak too soon. I'm really happy about the fact that we missed out on that 19 there. It's kind of, uh, would have been pretty big for us to miss. It will allow us to make that much more profit if we can get the greens to hit sooner than later. Hopefully right here, positive vibes, glasses always half full. Machine, if you're listening to me, give us the green. I want to see it right here. Send me your one times. Come on, machine, I'm using up all my energy. Hit in the green, hit in the green. Let's focus, let's make it happen. Let's see it transpire, we're gonna manifest it. One of those greens. And it's a 16. That's what I get for harnessing all my energy into trying to make it happen. Gets smacked in the middle dozen, so unfortunately, it is a loss. Fortunately, we still have some of our bankroll to make a, an attempt here, good opportunities. We'll still be in a nice profit right here, so we don't need to increase our bets yet. But you know what, actually, just feeling it. It didn't happen there. I feel like I asked for it. I'm gonna ask for it again. We're gonna juice it up. Hopefully we can get lucky. This will put us at 35, roughly right around there. We're in for a little bit over 17. Get the love on the green. Come on. Oh, we got a slow spin. It's about as slow as it gets, too. These are usually the uh, the ones that transpire for us. Any green, two of them on the wheel. Come on. Come on. That's a 12. All right. Woo. Hedge hit. We'll take it. Keeps us in there. More opportunities. That's all we can ask for. Rinsing and repeating. Let's see where those zeros are on here. I don't think I paid attention to those. All right, so we got 0x, zero 0x. Zero we've kind of figured that, but unfortunately it only goes 50 games. Over at South Point, it goes 200, so um, you, can, you get a little bit more extensive history to work with over there to make a form your opinion of what you want to do, but 50 is all we get to work with here, so 50 is enough for me. On the green. Come on, green. We're juiced up. Come on, green. Oh, 23, my girlfriend's favorite number. Why weren't we playing that? All right, so it's not a 1720, so all right. Not too much regret there. We'll stick with the 50 cent juicer. I do believe we have enough for one more or a couple more juicers and then we'll have to drop back down to our last opportunity, but hopefully we can make it transpire here. Otherwise, another brutal session here. I haven't been running the best playing roulette. Actually, I haven't, been, I haven't been running good on this machine right here at all lately. It just seems to um, avoid everything I'm playing constantly. Even when I'm playing double dozens or high coverage systems. All right, zero, double, zero. Keeping our faith in the green. Come on, machine, show us the green. Come on, machine, that's a 10, we'll take it. Close to the zeros, two spaces away. Lose 50 cents every time that happens, unfortunately for us. 740 is where we stand, so we're roughly $10 down. Making a go at it here. Probably should have started off at 50 cents rather than getting greedy, but that's all right. We're gonna get it right here. Let's get it, let's get a juicer. Let's smack it with there. We got one more opportunity at juicer. We're gonna take it. Let's see if we can get the love that we're looking for right here. Show us the green. We got another slow spin. 10 minutes in, all the positive omens that I look for in a spin. Can we get it? Let's go. Zero, double zero. 
zero, double zero. Oh, we were close. 15, we are just getting smacked. Well, I'm glad we took our opportunity to juice there since we lost anyway. And this is gonna be our last one right here, guys. So we're gonna need the green to come through for us. We'll still have a nice profit if we can get it. Otherwise, whew, second day in a row getting smacked here. But like I said, this roulette wheel hasn't been that good to me. I haven't had much luck on it lately. I feel like I'm doing better over at the one on South Point. So maybe I might have to stick to that one from now on. Don't know what the deal is with this one. This one, I used to run so good on this one a lot. But like I said, all right. Glass is always half full, positive vibes, never down and out. Let's see a green right here. Machine, if you're listening to me, give me a green. Come on, come on, right when we need it. Right when we need it, that's an eight, so that's a hedge, and we're gonna have to lose our juicing ability here. I don't have any more money on me. I don't even have a ticket on me to get us above that 10 cent threshold. I wonder if there's a machine that, uh... all right, so we're straight. Oh, this is horrible position here. We're break even. All right, we can't do that. We can't do that. Um, all right, there we go. We're switching over to the 17. Please don't be green. This would be dirty, but if it is 17, we'll be happy. We're straight hedged. This will give us a win condition. A little more than double our money if we can get it to smack right here. 17, one time. You've done it before. Do it again. Show us the love. Show us the love. That's a 21, so that's going to be a complete clean sweep of our $17 buy, and unfortunately, so probably would have been better off just sticking to bubble craps. Didn't even get any action over here. Unfortunately, that's the way the cookie crumbles, so make sure you guys like and subscribe. Another session coming at you from Green Valley Ranch. We are in for roughly 17 to 18, cashing out for 40 cents. Until next time.